You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hey, would you look at that? It's episode 133 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Hey everybody, welcome to a new year of excitement and adventure here on Soul Forge. Am I ever excited to, to be here after uh, missing last week? The last week of the year of 2019, took a week off. Rare thing that happens. I, I don't like to miss a, a week at all. I don't, I just love podcasting, as you guys know. Uh, but guess what? I figured, take a week off from Soul Forge, take a week off from Rusted Robot Podcast. Just, re, just recharge, because sometimes you need to take care of your own mental health and just relax. And you know what? It's uh, it's the holiday season, and, and nobody's listening to podcasts as much anyway. So took a break for you, took a break for me, took a break for everything. But it's not all about mental health. 2019 definitely was the year of mental health, as Brother Robin had pointed out uh, in my last episode, the unapologetically me episode. I talked all about things I had learned from the year, who I am, where I'm going, what I learned, all that good stuff. But now. It's 2020, and we've all got 2020 vision. <laughs> so I told you that uh, this episode was going to be a cheesy title, and here it is. And you know what I'm so grateful for? I am so grateful for the fact that we don't have to have any more of those jokes. Hey, where do you see yourself in a couple years? I don't know. I don't have 2020 vision. Well, guess what? Nobody can say that anymore. We've all got 2020 vision. And as I was thinking about what I wanted to talk about for this first episode of the year, I thought about resolutions. We all make resolutions. No, not all of us do, but some of us do. We want to be better people and we want to be new and healed and all that stuff, right? Of course we do. And we all have good intentions. But as the memes say, if you don't heal what hurts you in the first place, you just bring the same crap into the new year. And I'll tell you guys one thing, just between you and me, all, all the memes that I've been seeing lately, 2020 smells like transformation and healing. But you know what? I, I, I want to write on those on those memes. No, it fucking doesn't. It's the same old shit that it always is. That's part of my uh, new outlook for the year. Uh, guess what? In the last episode, I, I tried to be my most authentic self. And I realized that, yeah, I was laying it all out on the line. But I, I've been censoring myself. Um, you know what? Sometimes I feel like swearing... And I don't, because, you know what, there might be kids listening. But that's got to change, because I need to be true to who I am. And if I feel like swearing, I'm going to do it. So that, that might be a new thing for the year. And sometimes, depending on the subject matter, I might refrain from the curse words. And depending on the topic, maybe I won't. I don't know. It's, uh, it's all pretty much up in the air. 2020. Smells like healing and transformation. Sure, we'll go with that. That's fine. Uh, another thing that uh, I realized is that I, I like to be correct in all the things that I do. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing all this stuff about, oh, uh, next year, 20, it's 2020, and it's the start of a new decade. But technically it's not. Uh, 2020 is the last of the teens, because if you think about it, uh, 1 to 10 is a decade, and 11 to 20 is the next 10. So technically the new decade starts in 2021, but you can't explain that to people. Uh, it's just an argument that doesn't need to happen. So that's something that I'm going to work on as well, I guess. Um, you know what? So what? Somebody said a wrong word. Who cares? It's not worth getting into an argument over or a discussion. Just let it be. It doesn't really matter. So that's something that I've learned. And I have a vision for 
episodes for the new year. A lot of the episodes of 2019 and even before that focused on mental health and healing and being a better person. I wanted to start looking at people who already are better people or have had success in their lives. So one of the ideas that I have, and I want to sprinkle these episodes throughout the year, is I want to have a chat with successfully married couples and sprinkle that around in, in, the, uh, in the feed for you guys because it's nice to hear some positivity every once in a while. So I've, I've already reached out to a couple people and asked them if they would be part of the, uh, the, the dialogue and uh, just have to arrange time. So I know several people who've been married for 5, 10, 15, even 20 years. And if we can arrange the timing, I'm going to get them on the podcast to talk about what they've learned, how their life has been, and all that kind of good stuff. So maybe we'll have secrets of a successful relationship. Several of those episodes throughout the year. The only problem is not everybody likes to be recorded. So I have my work cut out for me, but I've talked to a few people and they seem interested. We're in holiday season right now, though, so it's hard to get together because there's family obligations and all that kind of good stuff. But that's a thing that I'm hoping to bring for you guys. Another thing that I'd like to do, actually, is reach out to you in the audience in, in Soulforge podcast land. Do you have stories that you'd like to share? Do you want to be a guest on the podcast? Uh, we can Skype, we can Zoom, we can do all the things. Just, we'll, we'll have a talk. If you if you have a story that you'd like to share with the audience, do you have a survivor story, uh, a story of despair? Uh, could be anything. Because here on Soulforge, it's all about life, the universe, and everything. We can talk about whatever you like. It doesn't have to be a life lesson. There doesn't have to be a moral to the story. It, it could just be something funny that happened that you want to share. Could be anything. Uh, for example, I was thinking about this today, actually. Uh, a long time ago, my grandfather told me that he was the mechanic for Al Capone's doctor. I don't know if that's true. My grandfather was a mechanic. He was born in 1929. I know Al Capone, I think he died in the 30s. Perhaps my grandfather was the mechanic for the doctor later in the doctor's life. I have no idea. I don't know who the doctor was. I have no way of confirming any of this stuff. Uh, it's just something that I've always had in the back of my head, and I'm like, how the heck am I going to tell anybody this and make it sound legitimate? Because I have no idea, and he only told me once. So it, it could be a story that he made up. It, it could be true. There's no way to confirm it, because uh, my grandfather died in, what, 2013? And he was in his... Well, I guess he was 84. So... Ah, who knows? And there's nobody around from that era to ask. But it's something that uh, I had in the back of my mind. Because as you'll recall from a recent episode where I was talking to Brother Robin, I was telling him that our family originated here in Timmins. And uh, our grandfather left here in, I think, 1947 to move to Sault Ste. Marie. And our grandfather's father is buried in the Pine Street Cemetery here in town. So little pieces of family history that... Maybe are important, maybe they're not. They're just kind of, hmm, I would wonder if that's true. So I've always had it in my head that, sure, my grandfather was Al Capone's doctor's mechanic because my grandfather was a mechanic. He owned his own business in the Sioux back uh, in the 70s, I believe. But whether he was the doctor's mechanic or not, I don't know. I, I wish I could ask him more fascinating stories about it because I'm sure it would be interesting. But stuff like that, guys and girls, uh, do you have an interesting story like that that... Uh, where are you gonna t who are you gonna tell? How are you gonna share it? Like, mm, you know, just weird stuff like that. Uh, or, uh, do you, did you overcome a trauma? Did you survive something? Could be anything. So if you feel like sharing, reach out. Uh, you can email soulforgepodcast at gmail dot com. Uh, you can send me a message on the Facebook page that I hope you have all joined. Uh, what is it? Facebook dot com slash Soulforge Podcast, something like that. Just look up Soulforge Podcast; you'll find it. It's there. Also, most of our episodes are on YouTube. Uh, it's just the background image, and then the words, the talking, the stuff. It's under my name, Sean Vanderloo. Subscribe today because you could listen to our episodes while you're scrolling around in the background doing something else. And wouldn't that be fun? Of course it would. Should probably uh, play a promo for another podcast here on the ESO network and I believe it's going to be a 
promo for the Earth Station Who podcast because I just played that ep- that promo on this past week's Rusted Robot, and I'm just doing them that way. Uh, so here it comes. Look, we know it's a long time till Doctor Who comes back on the air. Sorry. But your friends here at the Earth Station Who podcast are here to help. That's right. Mike, Mike, and Mary will be your guide through this wilderness year with reviews of classic stories, audios, and even some group discussions featuring some special guests. Join us for new episodes every other week up on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever fine podcasts are found. The Earth Station Who podcast, exploring over 50 years of the Doctor Who universe. And there you go. If you like Doctor Who, check that out because I'm sure it's uh, got all the information that you need to learn about Doctor Who. And if you're just getting into it, check it out. If you're a deep, deep fan of Doctor Who, you'll probably love the podcast too. Man, oh man. There's so much good stuff out there. So many good podcasts. All right. So what else do I want to talk about for the uh, the vision for 2020? Uh, let's see. I was thinking maybe doing some more episodes where I talk about and read some of the poetry that I've written. I did one of those, I think, in episode 60-something. I can't remember what. Uh, So I might do that. If that sounds interesting to you guys, let me know. Feedback is important uh, because, yeah, I I don't know what you guys want to hear. I'm just spewing out whatever comes to my mind uh, or whatever guest that I have at that particular time wants to talk about. But what do you guys want to know? What do you want to hear? That's what I need to know. I'm also thinking uh, about... Radical honesty. Similar to uh, being more free with my colorful language, I've, I've realized that I do hold back. And I think I've realized, as I've uh, been learning more about this whole empathic stuff, uh, that I'm an empath, like I mentioned last episode, um, when I get into an argument with somebody, I tend to shut down uh, and not say exactly how I'm feeling because not only do I not like my own feelings sometimes, I don't want to hurt anybody. And it's intensified because if I've, if I've said something that offends them or hurts them or whatever, then I feel their pain and my own pain and it's a feedback loop and it's empathic hell. So I have realized that a lot of my problems come from me not just stating my authentic truth. My uh, So being radically honest might be something that I'm going to work on this year. Uh, If I don't want to do something, I can just say no, and so can you. You don't have to do the thing if you don't want to do the thing. Stop giving yourself to people who don't deserve it. That's something that uh, I see a lot of, too. Constantly giving yourself to people who wouldn't uh, cross the street to piss on you to put out a fire on your face or something. Whatever that expression is, you know what I mean. Uh, So yeah, start living your life for who you are and enjoy it. So that's something. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe I will do some movie review episodes, maybe some book review episodes, maybe some television show uh, episode reviews. I don't know. Uh, Stuff that perhaps relates to personal healing or maybe just something fun. Maybe we'll just have a fun episode where we just talk about whatever the heck we want. Uh, for example, uh, this past week I went and saw the the Star Wars film, The Rise of Skywalker, the, the ninth film in the Skywalker saga to wrap up the whole thing, and uh, just gave a bit of a review on the last Rusted Robot podcast. But basically, uh, it was fine. It wasn't as good as it could have been, but it was all right. It had a lot of neat little things in it and stuff. So it's probably still in theaters uh, by the time this episode comes out. Uh, If you haven't seen it and you love Star Wars, um, you might be a little bit disappointed, but it was fine. Good to see. Lots of uh, awesome special effects. Just finished Season 2 of Lost in Space on Netflix. Watched it all in two days. Amazing. Not a lot of people... Well, no. My my co-hosts on Rusted Robot don't like it. But everybody else that I know who watches it likes it. I I recommend it highly. Uh, I started watching... The first episode of a series on Netflix called You, and it's about a guy, and he's uh, kind of a, I I don't know exactly what, but uh, he's a stalker from this girl that he met at the bookstore that he works at, and he's diving into her life and finding out all about her, and uh, it's super creepy, and it's not a show that I can binge because it's very uncomfortable, but it's good, but, uh, whoa, that's all I'm going to say about that. Hello, I'm Daniel Peter Hitch, author of the Bubbles the Pirate children's book series and the Connected Worlds Chronicles. 
You're listening to the Soul Forge podcast. Keep forging your soul. Still reading that book about uh, being an empath. I don't have too much more insight into that yet. Um, maybe I'm a third of the way through. Yeah, so that's basically all, all I've got. It's a, it's going to be a shorter episode this week. Just uh, just some thoughts that I have in my head. Um, very random. I'm kind of all over the place this week. Hope you guys had an amazing holiday season, Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or whatever other traditions that you may follow. I just read somewhere that between uh, November and January, there's like 14 different religious festivals. So if you celebrate any of those, happy holidays and all that stuff. Uh, If not, well, I hope you're having a great time anyway. Other than that, you know what? I I had uh, quite a vision for this episode. I had so many different thoughts and and whatnot, but I think I've spewed them all out. It's just uh, not very coherent this week because, well, no because, no reason, just... um, it's, it's the vision for the year. I'm, I'm excited to get going. I'm excited to do these interviews with uh, successfully married couples. They don't even have to be married, just together for a long time. Other than that, that's it. That's, that's pretty much what I have planned for the year. Uh, success stories, different episodes, more honesty, more fun. I'm not going to focus on uh, mental health as much as I did last year. Uh, We all want to be better. We're all trying. It's 2020. We've all got 2020 vision. We don't have to hear those jokes anymore. Thank you very much. That's great. Otherwise, I just want you guys all to be happy and have fun. And I got a fun end remember for you here. So I'm just going to remind you all that soulforgepodcast.com is where to find all of the social media links. There's the YouTube link. There's the Facebook link. There's the Twitter link. And I I think there's a few other different things on there. All the archives are there. You can find all of the episodes. Share it with your friends. Tell your family. uh, Tell your enemies. Let everybody know that the Soul Forge is the place to go. And if you haven't joined the Facebook page, do it, because I share a lot of fun memes. And everybody likes memes. And sometimes they're funny, and sometimes they're poignant, and sometimes they're about mental health, and sometimes I'm just being silly. All right, so thank you for listening. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate all of you being here. Take care. And remember, don't be sad, because sad backwards is das. And that's not good. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge Podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated, and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. Radical honesty is the commitment to being completely honest all the time in every situation to the best of our ability. Uh, And when we're unable to because we're running on programming, habits, etc., we, as soon as we realize that we've been dishonest in one of the various ways that that's possible, we clean it up to use Brad Blanton's words, the author of the book called Radical Honesty, we go in and we clean it up. We have a conversation. We say, hey, Rainey, um, yesterday I said to you this. That wasn't exactly true. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lie to you, but this is the truth. And we do that as soon as possible um, because we realize that the most important thing is human relationships. And human relationships can only thrive, can only ever give us what we really want in human relationships if we're willing to be completely transparent. And that means complete honesty. And so, you know, most people, many people would would say, well, I don't lie, at least not very much, but I'm not going to tell my boyfriend I'm going to be doing this or that because he wouldn't like it. Or I'm not going to tell my girlfriend I don't love her anymore because, well, we still have a good time and she cleans, you know, she washes the clothes for me, whatever it might be, where being radically honest means that we never withhold anything, that when we realize that what, what we're thinking and not saying has a, has a negative impact on someone we care about, we tell them, even if it just means the negative impact is taking away their freedom, taking away the partner's freedom to say, oh, if you don't love me anymore, I'm not going to be here anymore. That's reasonable. Um, It's reasonable that they should have that that opportunity. And we don't give them that opportunity when we withhold the information that we have lost interest 
I dated a woman uh, when I was in high school who was a lovely, lovely person, but in, I, I knew her uh, from the age of 15 all the way up until we were probably 35, and then we lost touch. But during all those years, she never was without a boyfriend because when she realized that she was no longer interested in, in the guy she was dating, whether it was me or somebody else, she found a replacement first and then she ditched the original one, which meant she was withholding information all the time to somebody, right? Um, that's dishonest. That, so, you know, to, to, to really create the healthiest human relationships possible, we want to be completely honest all the time. And, and that means being willing to say, listen, um, I, I'm not really attracted to you anymore, but it works for me for you to stay here for the time being, if that works for you, we can, maybe we can still hook up sometimes. Maybe, you know, I'll continue to pay the bills and you continue to do the laundry and make the, make the food for me. You know, is that okay with you? That would be completely honest. Uh, my guess is there are a lot of people not having that conversation when well, that might be an appropriate conversation to have. So radical honesty is being willing to be completely honest in every situation without regard to how inconvenient or difficult it might be in the moment. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping through Amazon.com or the Tee Public Store, which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.